welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Lauren. I am on a WW weight loss journey to lose 150 pounds. I just passed my first big 50 pounds down goal mark and we are heading into the holiday season. So I am posting a 12 days of Christmas series where I am posting not one or two videos a week, but 12 videos all the way up until December 24th. So I hope you'll tune in Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for those new videos. Lila, is it Christmas time? It is Christmas time. If you haven't watched my previous videos, we also just moved, like literally last week over Thanksgiving. Now it's time to get back to our regular mom and toddler life. And we kind of have gone grocery shopping a few short times in this span just like running out for things we needed over the last week but now we are ready and need to like stock up because i feel like i'm fighting to find anything in our fridge and pantry the last few days to make for lunches and dinners so i've made my meal plan for the week now we're gonna hop into aldi to grab a few things um i did also place a walmart pickup order which we're gonna go get on our way home too all right guys it's grocery haul day we're stocking up the new house see you in a bit Stuff. You needed some stuff at the store. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? I get some fruit bars, of course. Oh, some fruit bars, of course. Mm -hmm. Popcorn? Popcorn. Oh, you got popcorn. And what else? Mm -hmm. Strawberries? Mm -hmm. Do you get stuff for smoothies? Mm -hmm. Stuff for smoothies. Great. Okay guys, we are home. We are back from our Walmart pickup and our run to Aldi for the few extra. I went there for like four things. I came home with a restock, but you know what? We really needed it and now it's done. And to be honest, this might for the most part carry us through the month of December with the exception of maybe getting some special things for the holidays and um, just fresh fruits and veggies and milk that kind of stuff week to week. All right, guys, let's get started with our Walmart haul. Remember, so we are a family of three. It's my husband and I are on the WW Blue program. And then we have a two and a half, almost three-year-old daughter. Our daughter also eats cheese like it's her main food group. So quesadillas, mac and cheese, sandwiches, wraps with cheese. That's, yes. So toddler life, lots of dairy. Okay, so starting off with cheese. We obviously got this big old bag a two pound bag of sharp cheddar cheese, the finely shredded. I also got some Parmesan. We like this when we make salads. Some sliced Swiss cheese. We already had some turkey lunch meat home. And so we've really been enjoying, and Lila has too, making turkey Swiss wraps that we like kind of warm up in the oven. Okay, and then moving on, it is soup season, and I always like to have at least a couple boxes of chicken broth. I went ahead and just picked up four because we use it all the time. I use it when I just make a big batch of shredded chicken in the crock pot when I meal prep. I also use it for soups and recipes, so we are stocked up on that. This my brother introduced me to when he came to visit us in Atlanta. He had some of these G. Hughes um, sauces, and they are sugar-free, super low in points, and they taste really good. I don't think we've had the sweet and spicy version before. Hopefully it's not too spicy. Um, they were out of the one that my brother had left behind that we quickly gobbled up. We are doing um, crock pot barbecue chicken, so we'll be using that sauce for it. And because we ate through our pantry, just trying to get rid of stuff before our move, we're like out of like everything. All the typical canned items and Packaged stuff we keep in the pantry, gone. So I had to restock a little bit. Um, so I just got four cans of whole kernel corn, tortillas. Oh my gosh, you guys are probably sick. We love these. These are the ones we pick up at Aldi. So I picked up two packages. I'll put one in the freezer right away and one out. Daniel, they... Daniel. It is Daniel. Sorry, Lila's taking some quiet time and watching a show over there. Um, she's watching Daniel Tiger. So couple packages of those. Again, Lila, she loves um, like chicken cheese roll-ups or quesadillas. We do tacos pretty much weekly. So those are for her. Josh and I have just found these. I know a lot of people talk about them. We've been hesitant. We've tried a couple other brands of like the low carb tortillas and they always just taste very like dry and chalky and they're brittle and don't roll or wrap well. And we just tried these when I made my white chicken chili enchiladas the other day 
which was super delicious. I need to share that recipe with you guys. If you haven't yet, it is one of our staple recipes when we are on Weight Watchers. It is so yummy and Lila loves it too. It's even toddler friendly. So that's a big win. But I use these instead of regular tortillas. And these are only one point per tortilla as opposed to like, I think normally a regular tortilla is around three points per wrap, which really adds up when you have like two enchiladas. So it saves points. These are really yummy. We can't tell difference. They roll really well. These are our favorite Weight Watchers friendly wraps. And then back here, just some more 2% milk for Lila. And come on, I got some sugar-free um, hot cocoa powder from Target the other day. And so I went ahead and grabbed some Ready Whip, the extra creamy. I thought we'd give it a try. It was the only thing they had left in stock. They were out of the regular. And it's actually the same amount of points for the extra creamy as it is for the regular. I know you can do the light, but honestly, it was a difference of one point between the light and the regular. So we just went with the regular. We're doing the sugar-free hot cocoa. We'll see how that goes, see how it tastes. But we thought it would be fun to do hot cocoa with Lila now that the weather's getting colder. Just some um, paper towel back there. And then bread, they actually swapped this out. I'm not super picky about bread. We do like the 12 grain or like a whole wheat version, usually something a little bit heartier, especially when we're feeding it to Lila. She likes to do peanut butter toast a lot in the mornings for breakfast with yogurt. So they actually, I, I was being basic and got like the cheap brand from Walmart, but they must have been out and they did an even swap and just swap me the nice brand for the same price. We're gonna try these. These are turkey breakfast sausage links. Now I had some other sausage at home and I was making scrambles with like scrambled eggs and peppers and onions and veggies and it was super good. And so I saw these and I was like, hey, let's, let's give them a roll. They're pretty low point. I believe it is one point per sausage link, which is really good. Um, but I thought these would be great just to do like a breakfast scramble or even for lunch. Lila likes scrambled eggs sometimes and she'll eat that kind of stuff too. Or putting this inside a wrap and doing like a little breakfast burrito, which I would eat for breakfast or lunchtime. Sounds super yummy. Thought we'd give these a try. Oh, I know a lot of people talk about the chicken apple sausages and they're pretty low point. They're a good source of protein and something a little different. If you have a favorite way you eat these or what you eat them on, if you do them with breakfast kind of stuff, if you do them over a pot, I don't know, it's chicken apples. So that kind of makes me feel like maybe more breakfasty. Let me know what you guys use these in, but I'm excited to try those for the first time. We are doing turkey chili later this week. I needed some more petite diced tomatoes. I mentioned Lila. I mean, toddler life. She loves peanut butter. We go with the low sodium natural GIF. I know this is not the best peanut butter in the world for you. I know it's still a hefty amount of points, but it's what we like. So we sacrifice the points for it. It's so good. It's very tasty. This is my husband's favorite. He, We've tried some of the other natural peanut butters and he gets annoyed at having to stir them. And when you put them in the fridge, they get hard. And so we just roll with this. An onion and a bell pepper, again, for that turkey chili. And that is the portion of my Walmart order. Real quick, as I was putting things away, I found a couple more Walmart items that snuck away. So I went ahead and got some more unsweetened vanilla almond milk. We'll use this to make smoothies for Lila and I. Um, a big old bag of craisins, dried cranberries. I did get the 50% less sugar kind. I think they honestly taste pretty pretty much the same in my opinion. And I actually plan to use these for baking some cranberry pecan bread. I don't know if I shared with you guys, but my husband's boss has pecan trees and gave Josh a giant like Trader Joe's paper bag full of pecans, fresh pecans. So I have to shell them all. So I haven't done that yet, but we're gonna make some pecan cranberry, um, like artisan crusty bread, super yummy. Um, again, if I'm going to eat bread, I'm going to eat the good stuff and I'm going to just portion it and be mindful of my points there. But when I'm making it, I know what's in it. So that's exciting. Um, some croutons, Lila calls them crunchies. She loves to just snack on them, but we also put them in our salads. And then of course I needed to grab some peppermint mocha, sugar-free coffee mate. The sugar-free, it's not my favorite but I really don't want to sacrifice so many points for my coffee in the morning. One of my biggest problems that I've had in gaining weight in the past was I tend to be someone who drinks my calories. Sweet coffee, soda, wine, 
that kind of stuff was really prevalent in my life when I was gaining a lot of weight. So I'm trying to be really mindful of swapping and making better choices and then slowly weaning myself back to better things. So you know what, we're going to start with the sugar free and Yes, you'll see later a little bit in my haul. I also bought some Diet Dr. Pepper. We still drink diet soda. It's These are just habits we're still trying to break. We're still, you know, adjusting back to the Weight Watchers life. And I think as long as it's something that works for us in our points and helps us to stay on a healthier track, then why not? Here now is my Aldi haul. I know this is supposed to be me picking up a few things and it's like bigger than the Walmart haul. Story of my life. Okay, real quick. So we got some fresh salsa. This stuff is super good. Um, we use it on chicken, on tortilla chips to snack. It's great. We love we love chips and salsa. Um, I feel like I buy non-fat Greek yogurt every week. We go through it so fast with Lila especially. Um, this is the vanilla non-fat. I still had some of the plain, but I use that in cooking recipes all the time. Lila obviously loves yogurt. We also got some of these drinkable Danables. They were on sale um, and she likes these and she's just transitioning to being able to sip them out of the little sipper instead of using a straw. We got bananas, a cucumber for recipes. I got two big bags of fresh spinach. They have the best deal on spinach, guys. They, these big bags were only like $1.30, I want to say. And Walmart was sold out of fresh spinach. So I will eat this with for a salad or I always put some in our smoothies. Got to hide those greens on the toddler when you can. Um, I grabbed some yellow corn tortilla chips. Um, I'm doing a crock pot chicken and veggies. So I just grabbed one of these roasting sauces. It's super low points and it just adds the perfect seasoning to the chicken and veggies without needing to like keep tasting for salt and pepper and all stuff. I just toss it all in the crock pot and let it go. Picked up some more pie crust because they were on sale after Thanksgiving. And I know that we will bake some more this holiday season. So I just went ahead and grabbed some while they were on sale. Um, one thing I've been thinking about doing is Josh's grandfather got us this massive eight pound bag of apples that he brought with and gave to us at our new house. So we got to eat those up before like they get gross. So I'm thinking of maybe doing some baking of some sort. And I'm really interested in maybe doing like individual size little pies so you can measure out points real easy and have a fun little dessert. Lila really loves cereal bars. These are super easy on the go snack for her or to take outside when we're playing in the backyard. So we got some apple ones and some strawberry ones. Let's see. These. Okay. These are delicious. They make really great sandwich wraps or put some um, chicken strips in there with like buffalo sauce and spinach and stuff like they make really good wraps. They are terrible on points. Each one of these spinach or wraps is like seven points just for the wrap. So I don't really recommend them on Weight Watchers. We really enjoy them and Josh and I still get a lot of points for people on Weight Watchers. Like being at 42 points a day, I really can eat so much more or things that are higher in point than people who are only getting 23 to 25 points a day. So they're still here. And I also find, like I was saying in my last weigh-in um, video, my two month update, if I don't eat all of my points throughout the day, like there are some days, trust me, that I'm definitely under by a couple, um, or, you know, I do use some of my weekly points. I try not to use all of them, but if I go under points by a lot on a day and don't use any weekly points, I find that my weight loss stalls more. So I'm really trying to get all of those 42 points in right now because that's what's working for me. Some of like the crispy frozen chicken strips, these aren't terrible either. Obviously that's gonna be higher point though between those and this, but you could make yourself a really great um, like buffalo chicken wrap that tastes just like being at a restaurant. So it's like kind of a fun splurge dinner but you can still track the points really easily. You're still doing it at home and it still tastes really yummy. Huge bag of jasmine rice. This is just, again, we needed some more pantry staples and just have rice on hand was good. Need some more coffee filters, some crumbled feta reduced fat, which I hadn't seen at Aldi before, the reduced fat kind. So I went ahead and grabbed some. Lila also loves like Greek pasta salad. So I'm gonna use the cucumber and some tomatoes we had to use up some feta and some red onion, toss it with 
um, some farfalle, the little bow tie pasta noodles, and a touch of just like olive oil and um, red wine vinegar or something like that. You know, I'll figure out the dressing. I'm just gonna make it at home with the seasonings I have. But super yummy. That's a great little lunch. Um, okay, marinara, two of them. Not bad on points. This is Lila is absolutely obsessed with any sort of puffed popcorn. She really likes the Trader Joe's kind, but she also loves the Aldi kind. We had no more black beans at home. Again, one of our staples that we can actually get Lila to eat. She will eat a whole bowl of black beans. <laughs> I don't know why. It's so hard to get her to eat any sort of new vegetables or anything and beans. At least she's going to get some good protein. So I got four cans of those. Also, we'll be using it in our turkey chili later this week. Um, just stocked up on a couple more boxes of pasta to have. I don't do anything fancy with the pasta. I just measure it out and count the points. Um, so some penne and some rotini. I already showed you the chicken strips. Frozen strawberries. I finally found some at Aldi, so I bought them. Um, they've been sold out at Walmart and at Publix near me for a while now. So I grabbed some. We like using them for smoothies with Lila. These are a new find for Josh and I. We tried it for the first time on the little charcuterie board I made on Thanksgiving. And this is so good. But that with like a mini Baby Bell light cheese, just for like a quick snack or like add an apple, like making your own little charcuterie snack during the day. Super yummy. Um, and I think the last thing of this section... Okay, these are totally new for us. These I found for the first time, I scanned them and they're one point per cookie. Can that be right? I know they're cookie thins and I'm actually gonna taste test one for you right now because I'm really curious. I got the coconut and the chocolate chip, but I was also thinking these would be so good to put a serving of the Ready Whip topping on and then sandwich it and put them in the freezer and make like little ice cream sandwiches that would be so yummy and they would only be like three or four points can that be right okay let's taste test one of these right now okay lila reach in there we're gonna taste test the chocolate chip ones okay what do you think Lila, nope, <laughs> her show's still on. <laughs> Lila, honey, can you tell me what you think of the cookie? What do you think? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. You do? Is it a good cookie? Mm -hmm. Should mommy try one? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, that's a broken one. Let's get a whole one to show you guys the size of them. I mean, that one's broken too. Okay, I guess as long as they're not all broken, they might be, okay, here we go. All right, so see? They're like that big. So they're pretty small. They're like maybe three inches big, but they're like little mini ones. Hmm. That's good. Do you like it? She liked it. Mm, I bet the coconut ones would be really good. I love coconut macaroons and I think they'd be super yummy as like little ice cream sandwiches. They're just like a tiny little crispy, but those would be such a good little like mini bite. I think it's a success, I like them. Oh my goodness, I have a lot to put away. Um, last but not least, the meat. So Aldi had ecstatic prices. I can't believe I got all of that plus all the meat I'm about to show you at Aldi for under a hundred dollars. That's crazy. This whole haul between Walmart and Aldi, under 200 for sure, like a pretty good amount under $200. And that's most of my stock up for the whole month. I don't know if it's because now we're in the North suburbs, we're out of the city that prices seem so different, or just because since I've been like narrowing down what I've been shopping for in the last month, I've been running a lot more to like Publix and Kroger and other like regular big brand grocery chains and not sticking to some of the cheaper options like Walmart and Aldi. I haven't been to a Trader Joe's in like two months. I know I need to get a holiday Trader Joe's haul up for you guys and it's coming. I will go still to Trader Joe's one week this month. Um, but I can't believe I got all of this for that amount of money. Makes me super proud. Proud mom over here because sometimes y'all know how it is. It's a fine line and hard when you're trying to be healthy, buy healthy grocery items and keep to a budget as a family. So it's not easy, but 
it is worth it in the end to try and make it work for your health. So last up, I just kept all of the meat I purchased from Aldi in a box. So here's the pork chops, a pack of these. This will be a dinner for us one night, four bucks. A pound of um, fresh ground turkey breast, because again, we're making turkey chili this week. Um, I want to say this came in at like $3.50. Um, and I got a roll. We've never tried this before, the mild turkey breakfast sausage. Josh loves to make at the holidays. Um, they're like, oh, what does he call them? I think some people call them klotchkis, but they're basically, you make little sausage links out of ground sausage, and then you cover them in a homemade bread, and then you bake them, and they're like little sausage rolls. But he loves to make them at the holidays. He used to do it with his grandfather all the time growing up, so I thought we could try this out. That might be a, a Christmas morning. Um, bacon, we just get regular bacon. It's not too bad. It was two points for two slices of this. So I just got it to stock up in the freezer. Now this, this is the big win of the day. 99% fat free trimmed. This is five pounds of really good looking chicken breast. Like this looks better than the big packs they had. Guys, I got this for $5 a package. That's a dollar per pound crazy. I feel like that's so inexpensive. It was like half the price of the same amount in the big packages. So I went ahead and got two of them. I'm going to package them up smaller and freeze them. Okay guys, that's going to be it for our huge haul from Aldi and Walmart. Honestly, this haul is going to set me for the month of December. I should be good. I am going to get putting all this stuff away, but thanks so much for joining me for today's haul. I've truly restocked my fridge, freezer, and pantry. Now that we've moved, I feel so much better. Like I'm ready and prepared to feed my family and to have success and make good choices and what I'm eating on Weight Watchers. So yeah, thanks for following along today. Don't forget if you like to follow grocery hauls or recipes or a My WW journey, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing grocery hauls. I would love to do more of them. I love sharing what I'm meal planning and prepping and cooking with you guys. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Hiding from Lila. These are actually really good. Need some recipe or grocery list inspiration? Check out the newest videos in my upcoming playlists.